Here we'll be solving a geometric problem, that of plotting this triangle ABC with these three bits of information given to us. Number one, the base AB is 120 mm, angle at C is 50 degrees, and the sum of these two sides, or the distance A to C to B, is 200 mm. Let's start with the first two bits of information, and since we are taking only two out of three, we'll get infinitely many solutions. Say here is one of those solutions where the top angle of 50 degrees is achieved and so is the base 120 mm but the sum instead of 200 it is 275. Here is one more solution with uh, the sum 257. Here is one more with sum 248 and so on. Uh, you can see all these solutions are characterized by the single point C at the top and the path of that point is somewhat of a circle. In fact, indeed it is a circle and we can reason it out like this. That this segment here, the base, is subtending a fixed angle at this point. And this happens in a circle. In a circle, if we have a core, it subtends a fixed angle at the circumference. So AB is a chord of a circle, C is a point on its circumference, so that circle will have all the three points on it. You can see C is moving along that circle. Let us complete the circle by drawing this arc. I have color coded it, so this blue arc corresponds to this blue angle. Now let us try to incorporate the third bit of information, that is the length ACB 200 mm. Unfortunately, it is not along a straight line, but it is kind of folded like this into an angle. So let us think of something from everyday life that actually takes something straight and bends it in an angle. And that is a plane mirror. A mirror is capable of taking a straight line, like a beam of light, say BC, and reflect it to fold it backwards, forming an angle. And at C, if we draw a normal, that will be equally inclined to both these rays, the incident ray and the reflected ray. So that will be the angle bisector. So this is our normal to the mirror. Once we have the normal, we can get the orientation of the mirror also. Uh, let us see what this normal is doing. It is going to bisect this arc because the whole angle corresponded to the whole arc. So half the angle would correspond to half the arc. One more way of dividing this arc would be plotting the perpendicular bisector of chord AB and all such bisectors pass through the center so if we extend it up to the other side it's going to become a diameter and then the mirror if extended will necessarily pass through point D and now only the last part is remaining we are going to take this point B and this segment BC and we are going to actually reflect this along uh, about this mirror and you can see it has become collinear like this with uh, the segment AC. So the reflection of B over here we can call it as B dash will now be at a straight distance 200 mm because now we have these two segments aligned in a straight line. Since it is a reflection of point B its distance from D would remain the same. So we can plot one arc having D as its center and DB as the radius so this is that arc and the other arc having A as the center and 200 mm as its radius so wherever it intersects that's going to give us B prime and once we have that we just connect it to A wherever it intersects we'll get point C and that completes our triangle let us now recap this step by step in our construction so we start our construction by plotting the base 120 mm. Then we erect two angles 40 degree each at A and B. And that is because this chord is going to subtend an angle of 100 degrees at the center, uh, which is twice the angle it subtends on the circumference. Wherever these two angles intersect, uh, that is going to be the point O, the center of our circumcircle. So we plot the circumcircle like this. Then we are going to plot the perpendicular bisector of this chord and then let it intersect at say point D over here. Then with D as a center and DB as the radius, we are going to draw this arc over here. Then we'll draw another arc 
with A as the center, this 200 mm as the radius. So this is that arc. Wherever these two arcs meet, that is going to be the point B prime or the image of B. Then we just join A and B prime and wherever it meets the circle, that is going to be our point C. Complete the triangle.